Today, we're gonna make lasagne. Remember that pot of sauce bolognese we made the other day? That's one of the basic things you need for a good lasagne. All you need to do today is make a bechamel sauce and shred some cheese. And then you layer it, pop it in the oven, and that's it. First things first, we have to make a bechamel sauce. For that, we're gonna need 40 grams of flour, all-purpose flour is fine, and 50 grams of butter. And yes, use butter or a butter replacement. First, we're gonna melt the butter. A bechamel sauce is essentially a roux that you deglaze with milk. Now I'm just gonna add my flour. There's two types of roux, a white one and a brown one. The white one simply has cooked less. We want a white one here because we want a nice white sauce. Let this mixture simmer away for a few minutes and make sure that it's not getting too dark. A little bit of color is fine, but that's about it. This is looking good. We want every grain of flour nicely coated and a little bit roasted. I will of course give you a recipe below. I usually just pour in milk in small increments until I have the desired consistency. I am using whole milk. Actually, I think this sauce needs the extra fat, but of course, feel free to use a skim milk. This works with some kind of nut milk too. That's not a big deal. Okay, this is nice and smooth. There is no lumps, no nothing in it. We let this simmer for just a few minutes to cook out the flour. We're gonna add a little bit of seasoning and that's it. We have reached the proper consistency and at this point we just need to season it. I'm just gonna add a good pinch of salt. That's always good. I do like a grind of white pepper. Maybe two. And I'll add a couple grinds of nutmeg. There we go. Let's stir that in. Almost a little bit too thick. Tastes good. So let's thin this out a little bit with some extra milk. I am adding a little cheat in form of a bouillon powder. That gives it some extra flavor. And there you have it, sauce bernays in five minutes. This is the easy step. You've got all the ingredients ready. Now you just put it together. You need a oven safe dish, be that glass or ceramic, or in this case, stainless steel. You need to grease this. You can use olive oil. I prefer butter because it sticks. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of parchment paper or you can just use the wrapper of the butter. And I make sure I get into the corners here. Make sure it's all in the nooks and crannies. And let me quickly wash my hands. The method of layering is you start with a moist layer. That means I'm gonna start with a sauce Bernays layer. Here's the sauce we just made a minute ago. Get a thin layer of this into the bottom. You need oven ready pasta sheets. Remember this stuff? That is our sauce bolognese we made the other day. So now we're going to give this a good layer of that. And then for good measure, here is some freshly shredded mozzarella. And please shred the mozzarella yourself. The stuff in the bags has an anti-caking agent on it and that makes the cheese melt wrong. Don't go overboard with this. It's, it's not a cheese fondue. And now drizzle another layer of the sauce Bernays. There we go. That's nice enough. And we need another layer of the pasta sheets. All right, we are at the next layer. 
it's always the same order, no matter what order you do. You start with something liquid that's either the bolognese or the sauce bernays, and then you put the pasta, you put the other sauce, you put the cheese, and then you start over. So, so don't mix the layers. Okay. There goes another layer of cheese. And we need another layer of the sauce bernays. And then we need another layer of pasta. You can stack this any way you like. So it really makes little of a difference. Leave as few gaps as possible. And even if it's shards, it's going to be all soft and gooey and stick together anyways. All right. On top of this layer, we have another layer of the sauce bolognese. Technically, I would need the cheese now, but I still have a little bit of sauce bernays left. So I'm going to put the sauce bernays on. I just don't want to throw out any of the stuff we have here. So the sauce bernays goes on. Now we need the layer of cheese on top. And there you have it. This will go into the oven at 400 degrees, that's 200 Celsius, for roughly 40 minutes. It's been about an hour. The lasagna was essentially done after like 45 to 50 minutes, but I gave it another 10 minutes under the low broiler, just to make that extra cheese up there really nice. Let me show you what it looks like. Now, ain't that a beauty? As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Mmm, let's call that dinner.